No, I'm not going <laughs> to. Daylight's come and you want to go home. Hey, welcome to this week's episode <laughs> of Don't Drink Alone. We're your hosts. I'm Bill Wallace. I'm Sarah Wallace. And uh, we have a concert coming up that we'd love to invite you to, but you got to be a fourth or fifth grader. Yeah, I was in order like, do we, do we really want to invite them? <laughs> I have a concert coming up. He's just going to be there. I'm going to be there for times. moral support, and I'm going to open a really good bottle of wine as soon as it's done. Well, actually, he's gifted at that, so that's, that's all I need from you. We've all day. got our strengths. If they're wondering, yes, fourth and fifth graders are awesome. They are amazing. They are. They're going to have a fantastic concert. And I'm going to be... And then we will celebrate. Woo! Yeah. And so <laughs> we're uh, practicing by trying out some different wines. Uh, we thought we'd do something fun and totally unique. Not just go to Costco, but go to Costco and get a wine that we wouldn't normally get. Tell us why we wouldn't normally get this, Sarah. Uh, this one? Yes. <laughs> in this one. This one in particular, okay. we might have even talked about before. It's the Kirkland Signature Series by Gilles Nicole. Which um, we, so, we have a few. We have a few. We love Gilles' because wines. for the price point, it's an amazing cab. Um, and... We are lucky enough to know the winemaker. We know he does fabulous stuff. So we we thought that he made a Kirkland one. We, we bought a case it. actually. Yes. Um, which sounds ridiculous if you've never bought a case of wine, but. But it's not ridiculous when you get that good of a wine at that good of a price. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. But, but the unusual part, oh. <laughs> as Bill came home with, this cab saw it is a signature series Kirkland wine, but it is from. Napa Valley. Bum, bum, bum. Which, uh, I feel like um, you <gasps> I don't know what that is. That's the Darth Vader thing. thing. You don't know. I know Darth Vader, but I was like, you're in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing What's the Opatha? That was the breath. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, I mean, I've probably been married for 30 years. It's just anyway, stunning. To me. Um, so if you've ever spent any time with me, you know that like, I'm, um, I don't look at Napa Valley. Wines in general, and I know some of you out there are like, "What?" Immediately freaking out because they make and the I, best wines in the world. And it's prob I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Um, You're not wrong. Well, we often say, and other people who again truly love wine all say the same thing: if you like it, drink you it. like it, right? Drink it That's exactly. It. It and matter. my deal, I know, is that I'm used to Washington wines, and they are very different than California wines. So then, when you go and you try something else, it's just. It's just, it's just not what you're used to, and yeah. so I, I don't love them. Usually, it's just too big, and like they're so fruit forward, and they're such a big sugar bomb. Yes, jammy. Yeah, jammy. Yes, and... if you've seen the wine in the wine, you know, mm -hmm. in the grocery store, jammy and butter. Like, oh, those are my two least favorite wine <laughs> terms, right there. <laughs> like, we don't drink as much white clearly as red, yeah. I and mean, we drink more red. Uh, but I love a good crisp white. Yep. You know, like... We do, yeah. Uh, oftentimes, Especially like, in the summer, it's beautiful. Yeah, Sauvignon Blanc or something like that. But yeah, I am just... not a buttery Chardonnay person. Yeah. So, buttery, not my thing. Jammy, not my thing. Uh, and so, oftentimes, yeah, Napa Valley, rightly or wrongly, has this reputation. Well, I mean, they built it at some point. Yeah, they often sure. did uh, a, a very strong type of wine that became known for it. Uh, they made a lot of money off of it. Good for all of you down there. It's great. Well done. And it, I'm sure, it's, I mean, it's not that it's not good wine. It's no. just not my palate, and so I don't usually love it. So, but we thought we tried. Bill comes home and he says, Look at this. I've got two cabs. Both Kirkland, one from Washington, one from California. Both well, 2020, like, actually, right? I mean, it is very yeah. interesting. So, we may have already we, tried some. Yes, these are our third. Oh, they can't, they can't even. I don't. <laughs> They can't even see how full or, or empty the bottles are. Or empty are. there, but, thankfully. Um, we did try it with dinner, which yes. was interesting. So yes. And now they've been open for a little while, so they got a little more oxygen yeah. and they're breathing. Yeah, they're... And now we're going to try them on their own. Side by side. Um, I have opinions about them already. So. We'll see if your opinions change. Right. Okay. No. So What are we trying first? I'm, I'm trying the cap. I mean, both caps. The... We're going to try the, <laughs> the nappy nap cap first. first. I'm yes. going to swirl it. We're gonna do that. Give it a little more oxygen, even, and then. Oh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare their noses. That was an interesting. Interesting. I right. almost over swirled. <laughs> I did that and spilled all over my pants. The last Dude, he did. I've tried to wash them twice, by the way. Well done. Thanks. No, they're not. They're not clean yet. Oh. It'll it'll happen. Um. Okay. Wow. Big difference. They are really different, but. So if you want to impress your friends, 
uh, stick your nose into your line first, <laughs> and then and then act like all mm, yeah, and then talk, mm, yeah, so talk, so talk like you're able to figure make out stuff what up because mm -hmm. that's what winemakers do. Yeah. And they're like, ooh, and taste like oh no, I plum I get and hints of dirt and fur pebbles. Yeah, fur. No fur. Pencil fur shading fur needles. Was, was, yeah. Oh, fur needles, not fur. That's not fur. Right. No. Smells like cat. <laughs> Like shaved cat. Mm. That's our neighbor's cat. Mmm. Very good. Oh, that's really um, good. All right. All right. That's funny because they're not as different as I thought they'd be, though. Mm. All right. I mean, you're wrong. But that's okay. That's good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera can get a close up of my eye roll. <laughs> Probably can. Very good. See, again. I was surprised the first time that I drank the cab mm -hmm. Napa. It was not nearly as huge as I thought it was. Was one expected? Yep. No, and um, we were having tacos. And, you know. Yeah, which again we often pair with like a GSM or something. Yeah, you know, just you know, they're not super spicy, spice, but yeah. you know, you put some spice with them, and so mm -hmm. sometimes a cab and that doesn't always go right. Everybody thinks cab, you gotta go steak, you know, you gotta go mm -hmm. big, um, yeah, heavy Which, meal. Which, yum, it's good, yeah. but um, this actually with the tacos, I was like, oh, well, that's it was really better than I thought. Yeah. And then this one, this one I just drank before dinner. Before I had some with dinner, but it was also just, just be like... Right, that was mm. the first bottle before dinner. And yeah. Then... We really have not had three bottles of wine tonight, okay? <laughs> I just like... But you'll never know. <laughs> well... Wow, fascinating. So again, the theme of the podcast is don't drink alone, meaning you know, drink with friends, but then often pair with food. Uh, this is really, really interesting because yeah, usually we'll talk about uh, uh, washing wine and how it really changes with food. Um, we happen to like washing wine so much, we'll drink them without food. That's my favorite kind of wine. Yeah, that you that it doesn't need food in order That's to... my to favorite really kind of, of wine is interesting when you pair it and it changes. Yeah. We had some on but. Saturday that uh, there were some wines that we were tasting side by side in the wine tasting that were just so great on their own and others that needed food. Yeah, that's very true. And and that's, again, that's fine as long as you know that. Yeah. But that's, that's also part of the problem. When people try wine, they're like, ah, you know, this doesn't work. You don't like blackberries. Uh, that's maybe not, not your night. Not because your night. Because I've already tried one of these and they're so good and I know it's going to make this wine even better. Interesting. But I should be eating the blackberry first. Oh, super interesting. All right. So, so yeah, again, uh, just as an aside, if you can happen to find this one, for those of you that um, may be around, and uh, again, this is in Washington, so I, I'm curious if you can actually get this in California, Arizona. Arizona, Aaron. Go get it, Aaron. Sister-in-law. Don Sue, if you can find it in Vegas. Uh, it's the Oakville Cabernet Sauv Signature Series. All the Kirkland Signature Series are really above average. Um, people don't always mm. expect that from yeah. Costco. If you don't, you're missing out. Um, because... Well, they're really good winemakers yeah. who just probably are paid a lot <laughs> to bottle wine under the Kirkland label. I mean... More power to them, yeah. They're making some money. Um, because this winemaker, we you're, know. You're not going to find his wine makes, typically. And it's a $60 bottle of wine typically least, that he makes. Yeah, yeah, at least. And t under 20, you said, I think. Yeah, I think they're both right now $19.99. Um, I think we got this one for a little less, but uh, I think that was just a lot. A while ago. Yeah, yeah I think it was on, on sale. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, this is Allison Crow, a name I don't know, but I looked her up. She's got a great um, wine repertoire, does some really, really cool stuff. I imagine most of her wines I'll never be able to find. I'll never be able you to get. Do you find, like, the label that she usually... Yeah. Oh. I did. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. She's in Napa, is well-known. Um, has a cool book out. Um, find it on um, Amazon. But then don't buy it from Amazon because that just gives Jeff Bezos more money. <laughs> oh um, so yeah, I mean, shop local, really cool. shop That's, Costco. Right <laughs> is that really... Costco's local. It's a I Washington mean, you know, business. A Washington wow, business. I think I know you're loving this with the blackberries, but the strawberries are killing it. It is so good with the strawberries. You, have to try the strawberries. you do. You have to try it with the strawberries. Oh, I'm big strawberry. And I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I would say, which one am I playing? Um, the, the Napa. I would say Napa doesn't always uh, pair well with food, or particularly just with fruit. I'm really blown away with this. Um, this is really excellent. Mm, actually, that's, that is really good. Right? Maybe just that strawberry. Yeah. It was just that one. That one. Just that singular one strawberry. Yeah, it was that actually one. half strawberry, but still. Very good. Um, so, uh, again, uh, we talk about people needing to break out. One, you're already spending $20 instead of 10 or 15 um, And then, yeah, you try a wine from a region that you don't normally go to, and now you're like, ah, oh, I well, wasted $20. That's the thing. Because... I hesitate buying from Napa because I just my personal palate, I don't usually love it. And so... Do I want to spend 20 bucks? I mean, it's 20 bucks, so, you know, but still, yeah. you know. And that's it. Have you tried these with chocolate? Oh, well. Have you tried wine with chocolate before? Have I have. Do you, <laughs> what do you, how do you feel about wine with chocolate? It's possible we had a brief conversation with someone who was pouring wine for us on Saturday. <laughs> Funny thing is, we didn't actually talk about it afterwards. Not at all. But we both had the exact same thought. As soon as... She, she said, oh, you know, people always think the wine pairs with chocolate, but it really doesn't. And like, straight up just said, it doesn't. Not like, some do, some don't, yeah. or it's up to your... Per no, she was like, chocolate doesn't go with wine. Like, chocolate doesn't go with wine. And I was like... Watch our podcast, <laughs> Like... Yeah. I think Bill almost kicked me under, under the table. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say anything, because... It wasn't worth it. No, and I mean, and everybody feels differently. Like I get, I get it. Like chocolate. Everybody's got their opinion. That's totally it. But wine pairs with chocolate. Wine fact, pairs with chocolate. It does. Not every chocolate. Not every wine. Yeah. But it was a blanket statement that was inaccurate. And I'm not yeah. quite over it yet. Entirely. Oh, I think our kids home. No. Um, Maybe because... Sage is going to come and be in the podcast. Be part of this. this. <laughs> All right. We might have to pause this. We'll well, I don't think we have to pause. No, we this don't. might be more interesting, actually. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> Very good. Hold on. No, I mean, well, I'll just, I'll just keep vamping while we're on, we're filming. But come on in, come you guys. On. Do you want to be on? Kendall. Hey, Kendall, do you want to be? Uh, no, you don't have to. There's, so there's Sage. Look, there's do Sage. you think chocolate goes with wine? Yes. There's Kendall's. Yeah. That's all Kendall's giving you because yeah. that's just all you want from Kendall right now. <laughs> Trust us. We love you, Kendall. <laughs> she's all put together right now. Yeah. Um, but she's awesome because she took Sage she took to Sage go out. get pho. Cheers to Kendall. So, yes. Yeah, definitely cheers to Kendall. Um, okay, I'm going to try a little bit of your yeah. chocolate. Sea salt caramel. Almost out. Tim Dell, help us out. All right. Just FYI, Tim. My birthday is April 13th. <laughs> Although, that's the outing. You bought that for me for me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I think you and Tim have eaten three quarters yeah, of that. Tim. All of Tim. <laughs> I have hardly had any. Okay, which one? So I did that, and then I did the Napa. Do you think it's different with the caramel, too, though? Uh, yeah, the caramel changes it, too. Instead of just, like, a, a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Kind of silly question, because, of course, it's going to that. Um... No. That's interesting. Hmm. Honestly, I just think food makes this one better. Mm -hmm. Which I am surprised. It is interesting. Oftentimes, the Napa cabs are so big that if you try and have more sugar with them, yeah, I mean, it's, no, it's really maybe good. they pair, but it's a lot of sugar. Um, but this one, it, it just, it does change it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'll try a little more. With the uh, and then with the Washington, yeah, yeah, and again, oh, you're gonna say it doesn't change the Washington one. Well, so. yeah, but I mean, I part of it's my palate too. I think the Washington one is so good mm. just on its own that it really doesn't need anything else. Um, it's just and, a little, and that's a little different than Gilles. Like Gilles is a Frenchman by you know mm -hmm. nationality, you know, does and it's often French? he does in fact speak French quite well. Um, but uh, you know. He thinks about that when he's making wine, you know, how it might be able to pair with other stuff. So I find that interesting that he's created a wine that does so well on its own. Yeah. And necess doesn't necessarily uh, do that with him. So. Well, I think at the end of this. At the end of the day. I, our, our I recommendations still prefer are, the Washington one, but I admit fully that I am biased. I mean, yes. I, I, I totally admit that. Um, I think this Oakville um, Kirkland. Find it where you can. One is 
really good. It's and really if they're, good. I mean, you guys, for 20 bucks, yeah. people are always asking. If you've never been able to try a Napa cab because they're $60 yeah. everywhere you go, right? Yeah, try this. Well, although, this one doesn't taste like a normal one, but... Well, yeah, but you know, now you get to say that you've tried a Napa cab. And also, don't be afraid to buy the Kirkland label. Yes. Kirkland, Costco, if you want to sponsor us, really, that'd be yeah. fine. But two, even without your sponsorship, your signature series is really yeah. well done. It's good. Cheers to you, Costco. Good work. Cheers to you. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks Cheers for you. watching. And you. Hi. We'll see you after the concert. Yeah. Dale. Dale. Can you edit?